What is up guys? Today's video, I'm super excited. You guys can probably already tell from the title of this video, HP Tuners has quietly and finally released support for JTEC and JTEC Plus. What does this mean for you guys? We're gonna cover everything in today's video and it has to do with the two vehicles you can see right behind us. So the MPVI-2 that HP Tuners has is a really powerful unit. It's this tiny little box. This also has Bluetooth, which you can do race vendor stuff. So if you're on the track, road course stuff, or even drag strip, you can plot out the track as well. So super powerful, but this is the unit that you'll use to tune a vehicle. And now we can finally tune the older Dodge or Mopar products. So we're gonna be pretty busy here on this channel, but let me show you what vehicles are supported. So the JTEC and JTEC Plus stuff goes all the way back to pretty much 1996. So if you have a Dakota, from 96 and newer, or you have a Ram from 96 and newer, or you have a Viper from 96 and newer, all of a sudden now HP Tuners finally supports that and you can tune it, flash it, reprogram it. And there's better news on top of all that is most of that stuff is just one credit. So let me show you the supported vehicle list and how many credits they take. All right, so when you guys go to the HP Tuners website, you're going to click on vehicles, Okay, so when you click on vehicles, it's gonna take you over to supported vehicle list. And for the topic of today, we're going to scroll down to Dodge. Click on Dodge and we can see all the different vehicles that we're talking about. So you can see here, 1995 Dakota 5.2, 96 to 03 Dakota 2.5, 3.9, 4.7, 5.2, 5.9, all those different engines, 04 to 10, Dakota 3.7, 4.7. We also have the Durango as well. So the 98 to 03 Durango, it supports the 4.7, the 5.2, the 5.9. And making our way through, there's a bunch of different vehicles that you guys might have. So you'll definitely have to check this list yourself. But 1995, a Ram 1500 with the 5.2 or if it has the V10 in it also supports that engine, 96 to 01 Rams with a 3.9, a 5.2, a 5.9, also if it has a V10 in it. And you can keep going. If you guys happen to have a 95 Ram van with a 5.2, it supports that as well. Same thing with a 96 to 02 Ram van, 3.9, 5.2, 5.9 and the Viper. So the 96 and up Vipers are now covered as well. But uh, not the 92 to 95, but the 96 and up, the one that we have in the garage is a 2000, so we're all set. But look at this, you guys, even a 10 cylinder is still only one credit. So pretty cool that way, but come to this website to check. And then if you go over to products and you click on MPVI2 and you scroll to the bottom here, you'll see that credits are only $49.99 each. So to tune the Viper would only be $50 or to tune the Dakota would only be $50 once you've purchased the actual tuner itself. But once you purchase the tuner, you can tune multiple vehicles with this one device. So you could tune your friend's vehicles or you could share the cost amongst your friends with the same device and then you just buy the credit for whatever vehicle you want to tune. So it's pretty cool. All right guys, so I'm super pumped about that. It's been forever. Uh, there was really only one option to tune the Viper with for the longest time and I really didn't want to use it. It was an older software and I wasn't too fond of it. It was something that a lot of support hasn't been there for, but now that we have the HP tuners, we can tune the Viper and get that all sorted out. Plus for the Dakota, for those of you guys that are stopping into the channel for the first time, we are going to be boosting this thing. Right now it's looking like we're gonna go with the twin turbo kit, but if we happen to find a supercharger kit, we might go that route. Either way, this thing is gonna get boosted. So this is the 5.9 liter RT that we're turning into a drag truck. And this we've just been kind of slowly tinkering with. We kind of just did more of a, a show overall build, but I don't know, maybe we might end up going crazy with HP tuners now that we can actually tune this thing. It kind of opens up the, the door of opportunity for what we can actually do with the Viper as well. All right, guys. So what do you guys think about all this new functionality or support from HP tuners? Is it something that you guys have been waiting for? Let me know what your thoughts or feelings are in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion. What can you guys now tune that you guys couldn't before? And are you guys gonna tune something now as well? So I'm interested to hear what you guys think. I know what I'm gonna be doing with these two vehicles at least and probably some other projects as well. So 
it opens up the opportunity for me to be able to finally get my hands into these two vehicles as well. But let me know what your guys' thoughts or feelings are. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be doing a lot more tuning stuff now on both of these vehicles. So we'll be able to show you guys what we're doing with these two as well. And click that join button below as well. We have channel memberships. It supports the channel so we can do lots of cool things on here. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.